what does it take to get max rank hero on Halo Infinite? I've seen 343 heavily promoting getting the max rank, the Master Chief armor on Halo Infinite, so I figured I'd make this informative video showing you guys exactly what you need to do, how much XP you need to get, and what's the best way to get hero rank on Halo Infinite. We're going to cover best XP rates, the most efficient way to play in case you don't have very long to play, the best playlists, and everything you could possibly think of to try and help you get the max rank and Master Chief's armor on Halo Infinite. Now, as I've shown in a past video, Spartan Record, Halo Tracker, and even Halo Waypoint are your three go-to websites to track how much XP you have. It'll give you an exact number of how many games still to go, and it's based on your previous match history. Some people might have 2,000 games, other people might have 10. It really depends on you, how many kills you get, and how you play the game. So with all of that said, let's get into the video. Now, Halo Infinite's progression system is completely different to the rank system. One is based on how much you play, and one is based on the rank playlist in the game. So I've seen some people who are confused, they are completely different. Now, the XP you need to get to hit max rank hero on Halo Infinite is 9,319,350. It is significantly less than past Halo games, but that is completely dependent on how many kills you get. One kill is around 100 XP, assists are 50 XP, and any objectives you capture will also contribute to your overall XP. If you have any double XP boosts, that is another separate system. Again, double XP boosts do not work with Halo Infinite's progression system. It only works for the battle pass. I had 150 double XP boosts waiting for the progression system, and then 343 decided to make them separate. So don't get confused by that either. Now, if you get 100 XP per kill, and you need to get 9.3 million, it's around about 93,000 kills you need to hit max rank. I would say around 90,000 and then all the other assists and objective points you get will be more than enough to hit the max rank. What I was doing was I was trying to aim for 1,000 kills per day. It is a lot of kills but I'm going to talk about the playlist you can maximize your kills in a second but that's the way I went about it. Now something you need to know is that all the big team modes, so big team social, big team heavies, and big team battle all give 1.8 times XP. So one kill isn't worth 100 XP, it's worth 180. By that logic, if you're getting 180 XP per kill, you don't need 93,000 kills anymore, you only need 51,000, which is almost half. And that is my number one piece of advice. If you're not a super confident player, my recommendation is to use vehicles in BTB, BTB heavies, as the Scorpion and the Wasp are both very easy to use, and they're very easy to rack up kills with. This brings me to the optimal playlists. And I saw a lot of people suggesting you do free-for-all, but 343 has actually turned up the skill-based matchmaking in free-for-all, so I can't recommend it anymore. It's slow to find games, and you can only get a limited amount of XP per game. The go-to playlists as of October 2023 are again the big team playlists, Infection, Team Snipers, and Team Tactical, which is SWAT, you can also do Husky Raid, and since that map is literally just a straight line, 4 versus 4, with random weapons, you can easily rack up 90 to 100 kills, and it's probably the most relaxing way to get XP per day. Then there are other playlists like Squad Battle, which are all the throwback maps that people enjoy from the classic games, but that doesn't give the XP bonus. I saw some people asking about that, so just keep that in mind. But more or less, because the max rank isn't too high in this game, and it is based around kills and how many you get, you could play ranked, you could play quick play, you can play anything you get kills in, and over time, I'm confident you can get max rank. I tried to provide ways that if you don't get many kills, you can maximize your time playing, and then over time, you can knock it out and get the Master Chief armor. As of making this video, only 20 people in the world have this armor. I'm sure much more will get it over time, but hitting max rank in this game is arguably the best reward out of any Halo game. It's one of the first times you actually get Master Chief's armor. You also get some other cool codings, images on screen now. So it's something to work towards if you do play a lot of Halo Infinite. Hopefully this video was informative. Hopefully it was helpful. I saw a lot of people asking for the best way to level up, so now you guys know. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.